All right, Chaseaki Blue Futon, same shirt. I'm back because I have like 17,000 reviews to do. Actually, that's a lie. But the next one on the list is Mickey, Don't Be Scared. That's not the movie, but it's Mike Wallace is Here. It's a documentary. I saw it at a little indie theater. Mike Wallace, the creator of 60 Minutes, and it kind of is a documentary of his wife and his son, Chris Wallace, is on Fox News right now. So, Mike Wallace is here. Let's run that intro. So it's pretty simple. Mike Wallace was here, is here, is, was, is, is here. So what's it about? It's pretty simple. It's basically Mike Wallace from when he was younger in the 30s, 40s, 50s, I think, doing TV ads, TV stuff, news anchor, and how he is was today about being so influential with 60 Minutes and how he does his interview process and everything like that. And it was kind of a dig at media today yes and no kind of weird it kind of opens up with him and bill riley and like them kind of clashing and uh mike wallace like well how do you feel about your style because blah 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 and bill riley's like well that's kind of bullshit because even playboy magazine says i'm the next you so how are you going to say i interview like shit and yell at people when you basically been doing that your whole career so it makes me think of the narcissism of mike wallace and it's Kind of, I don't know if the director meant to do that, but it really shows his narcissism of he's allowed to do shit to people, but if someone does it to him, he gets pissed off. So it's like, why are you getting pissed off at the people you're reviewing that do it to you? But if someone does it to you, you have the same reaction. Like, how can you like the problem with that with this movie is then you can't really relate with Mike Wallace as a whole because the credibility of him goes down the drain because He's allowed to do stuff to people, but when someone does it to him, it's like, oh, hell no, you're not doing it to me. That's unfair. So it's like, it's like the yin yang of bullshit of like, like, do what you do to others, like the golden rule. You don't have that golden rule when you do it. And so it it diminishes your credibility at that point. Uh, and of course, they had to ta- tack on some, you know, anti-Trump stuff like that the media is the villain. But... They show it at the end, and then there's, like, liberal females in my theater. Like, hey, Trump. <laughs> it's like, okay. Which is kind of weird. They showed some uh, liberal reviewers, but, like, did he not review, like, I don't know, Hillary Clinton or Bill Clinton or, like, Bob Dole or Al Gore or something like that? It, it was kind of left-leaning. You could totally tell what the documentary was. Hey, I didn't make the movie, so I really can't be mad about how he wants to make his own movie. But Mike Wallace is here. I mean, it's kind of cool how 60 Minutes started, and I kind of wish they pushed, I mean, they kept that narrative throughout the movie. But painting him as a character, the narcissism of Mike Wallace kind of, like, diminished. I mean, that's how he was, but I feel like if he wasn't acting like that when people asked him the same questions, you would have more credibility and more like respect for him as a person, but just his whole the narcissism kind of showed, and I kind of didn't like that. So Mike Wallace says here will receive a two and a half out of five blue futons, which equals that fifty percent. So to see the critics and user scores also gave this film. Holy poo poo for Cocoa Puffs! You have the critics at ninety four percent, and there's seventy eight of them, and the users at eighty three percent, and there's six of them. And I didn't do it, so my seven would put that down in the seventies if I have quick math. But here's quick consensus. A solidly compelling, as the subject's best reporting, Mike Wallace is here as a worthy tribute to the engrossing look at the changing landscape of modern news. I mean, it's an okay quick consensus, but then also, I'm going to put out there, there's a lot of stuff in that that's like, oh, even they're talking about the 70s and 80s in this thing about how people are calling the media the enemy of the people. But isn't that true when they're forcefully, forcefully giving you fake narrative or narrative they want to push so isn't that fake news as a whole i mean new york times is going through that about a leaked transcript of them pushing their own narrative like oh the russia shit didn't work for trump so now we're pushing the race car to push down trump and you have other reporters from new york times and washington post had to retract multiple stuff in reporting because it's falsified it's not true reporting so when you're pushing your own narrative isn't that false reporting same with like cnn they're getting called out like you lied there that's false that's untrue 
And I love how people are bashing Fox News, but they actually have more liberal and conservative reporters. Name a conservative person on CNN that they don't bring in. Name them. Jake Tapper? I mean, he's more like middle of the road, but everyone else is far left on that network. MSNBC, name a conservative who's actually like, I'm a conservative reporting. There's maybe one guy. Maybe. And they, everyone else they bring on all the other networks are like, pitchfork people and cause violence. It's like, isn't that fake news? So how can you be mad? But anyway, chase out the blue food tone. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the blue Utopia. You blue Thank Thanks for watching. And let's just go on to the next review, guys. Let's do it. Thank <laughs> you.